Brian Dolesky with Able Distributors. Today I wanted to talk to you about the Honeywell ERM, Equipment Remote Module. It's a really nice, handy piece of equipment. Now you can use it for a lot of things. You can use it if you replace the thermostat with a red link thermostat and you don't have thermostat wires going down to a boiler. It could be used for that. It can be used for if you lost the low voltage wires from the furnace to the AC, maybe in a, if the furnace is in the attic and the AC is on the ground, mice shoot through the wires, you lost the wires or somehow, you can put a transformer in the condenser unit, power this device, and now the thermostat will talk to this device and it'll know when to turn on and off the AC. We nowadays, we use this, and this is what it looks like. Obviously, it's a, it's a weatherproof cover. It's meant to be mounted outside. It's got these terminals on the inside. And more often now, we use it for when we're selling somebody a heat pump and they only have two low voltage wires going out to the AC for Y and C, and we need four. So what we do is we take the two wires that were there. Now you can hook them up to R and C at the furnace. You can put another 24 volt transformer at the furnace. Well, let's say those wires didn't even exist. Again, you could put a transformer inside the condenser unit and power it that way. However, you get 24 volts to this. You connect 24 volts to R and C, pretty common. Now, the thermostat will tell this device when to take that 24 volts and send it to Y. Or let's say you install the two-stage AC, but you only have two wires, you don't know what to do. Now it can have Y and Y2, so you can install that two-stage AC, even though you can't get low voltage wires there. It's got the OB, so when the thermostat calls for heat pump, it knows to energize Y, it knows to energize the reversing valve, it works perfectly. The beauty is you can put a 10K outdoor sensor on S1, S2. So now that thermostat will know outdoor temperature. It'll know whether you want the heat pump to run or the furnace. It'll know when to make that switch over. If the unit's running low enough, the heat pump, and it does go into defrost, it'll power the defrost terminal, and that'll tell the thermostat to bring on the furnace. Because when a Bosch heat pump goes into defrost, it's just turning on air conditioning. So to get that frost off, it turns on AC. And if you don't turn on the furnace at the same time, you're going to end up blowing air conditioning into the house in the middle of winter. Not a good thing. So this one little module can take care of all of that. And again, even with a boiler, there's different terms, terminals on here. Well, I'm not going to get into that today, but for a heat pump application, where you only have two wires that you can get down, or you put in a two-stage AC, and again, you only have two wires. This will help out in all those situations. And again, even if you lost, even if somehow those wires were just gone, mouse chewed through them, a carpenter shot a nail through them, they resided the house, buried them, whatever the case, you could put a transformer, bury it in the condenser unit, pull two wires out, power this, bring the wires back that you need, get a red link thermostat to talk to this device and you're done. It's really, really a handy way to take two volt low voltage wires and turn them into four. So we've got the 10K sensors that you could hook up to it for the outdoor sensor. We've got these at all the branches. That's the Honeywell Equipment Remote Module or the ERM. Thank you.